Hello dear students, today we are going to see a poem, lesson number 10, type page number 28. So before we start reading the text or the poem which is given here, I just want to tell you the summary of this poem so that we understand clearly. So it says, the poet is fascinated by kite flying and the blue sky. It digs and dives. Its tail moves along with it. It reaches high as the sheep moves on waves in water. It moves as the wind goes, reaching to a certain height. It falls back again. The wind is the driving force of a kite. When the strings of kite gets loose, it needs to be rolled back to fly again in the sky. The happiness has no limits when a new kite is fluttering in the sky. An unbearable sight for a kite lover is to see the kite in tatters. The sound of flapping of the kite on the top of a tree is very disheartening. So this is all about the summary of the poem. Now I'll just tell you in gist actually what is there all throughout the poem. We see here in the beginning of the poem the kite is bright and new. It is full of energy and tries to fly higher and higher. It looks beautiful. However, in the end, it gets tangled in a tree and therefore cannot fly. It is also torn and so it looks ragged and dirty. So we see here in the beginning, so what is there? It looks very bright and energetic and that's why it tries to fly higher and higher and at the same time it looks beautiful but towards the end we see it gets tangled in a tree and therefore cannot fly anymore it also okay it is also torn and so it looks rack and dirty let us uh, read the poem now and try to understand how bright on the blue is a kite when it's new. So how bright it looks when it is a new. With a dive and a dive, it snaps its tail, then shores like a sheep with only a sail. So here we see here that this kite is compared, okay, directly it is compared with a sheep. As over tides of winds it rides, climbs to the crest. Crest means the top of the mountain, isn't it? It goes higher and higher of a gust and pulls, then seems to rest as the wind falls. So as the wind falls, it slows down. What happens? It also okay, comes to a rest. When stream goes slack, that means okay, when it is loose you wind it back so what is required a wind is required again so as to fly in the sky and run until a new breeze flow and it says okay and run until a new breeze blows and its wings feel and off it goes so what happened it waits for the breeze it waits for the wind and when it gets the wind, it's fly. Okay, it starts uh, flying in the sky. How bright on the blue is a kite when it's new. So it definitely looks new when it, it, when it is, what to say, uh, when it flies high up in the sky. But a ragged things you will never see when it flaps on a string in the top of a tree. So in the last line it says, so then when it becomes old, otherwise okay, when it is tangled on a 
branch of a tree or on a tree what happens okay it doesn't have any strength it doesn't have okay what to say energy to fly up so gradually it becomes what to say uh, that uh, very old and so as to look dirty so when it is new when it is okay beautiful it rises it it fly in the sky so this is what our poem is i ask you to read the poem maybe once or twice and see if you have any kind of difficulties in understanding you may ask me thank you so much